everybody! Welcome to this series of three videos in which I will be tackling the problem of the three main areas on our face where the signs of aging and stress affect our appearance the most and show our real age. Today I will be talking about the smile wrinkles with its technical term being nosolabial fold. I will tell you why do they appear on our face and smiling is actually not the main reason why do they happen. And then at the end of the video I will show you a, a simple face massage which will uh, smooth down the existing wrinkles in this area and prevent any future problems uh, appearing uh, in this area as well. So, welcome! <music> to the nosolabial fold, the reason why the wrinkles appear in this particular location is due to the fat part that we have located here on our cheeks. It's in a triangular shape, I'm pretty sure you can see it once I showed it to you. Its technical term is malar fat pad. The muscles that support the malar fat pad and hold it in a place with time weakens, which causes the whole fat pad to move downwards together with the gravity. Additionally, the fat that's uh, located in this area and initially, which is evenly distributed, with time drags downwards, pushing against the another set of muscles that's right here on top of our mouth. Therefore, this fat part pushing on this muscle when we smile causes deepening of these wrinkles and even more deepening of the actual nosolabial fold. Now you can see why just putting a creams on top of it and even putting Botox in this area is not quite going to help because Botox is going to affect the muscles but the fat part is still going to move downwards once the Botox is disintegrating in our body. The beauty about face massage is that it targets not only the weakening muscles because it relaxes them, helps them to come back to its own shape, it increases the blood circulation in the muscles helping them to be revitalized and staying healthier and, pe and fulfilling their original function for longer. It also pushes the fat pad upwards, helping it to keep in shape, in its original shape and in its an original distribution. Just a few technical points before I move to the massage. First of all, we're going to be needing some sort of oil or rich cream that will create a slippery surface on our face. It has to be slippery. I'll be using a grapeseed oil. You can also use sesam oil or even olive oil if you have nothing else at home at the moment. Just make sure that your skin is nice and slippery before starting the massage. For the massage to be the most effective and for you to see the results fast, it's recommended that you do this massage twice a day in the morning and in the evening. The pressure that you're going to apply to your skin can be measured and it's between 0.3 and 0.8 kilograms. You can check that pressure on the kitchen scale but really uh, all it is is that it shouldn't be too strong and it shouldn't be too light. You should have a feeling that you are moving something underneath your skin and not that you are trying to damage your face or not that you are just trying to stroke your skin. Each session should take approximately three to five minutes to complete and each of the movements I'll be showing you will have to be repeated nine times. The effects depend on your precision and on you being systematic. The relaxation of the muscles and the face you should feel straight away. However, to see a visible result you should allow around a few weeks and uh, the results should last as long as you keep doing the massage. Uh, after a while you don't have to do it twice a day, it's okay if you just do it maybe once a day, but being systematic will be important in order to keep the results uh, on your face. This massage starts with the head massage and I know it might sound weird but actually we sometimes forget that all the tissues and all the muscles on our head are interconnected and uh, releasing the tension of one area can have a profound uh, effect on another area. So I've already managed to put some oil in my hair so please don't worry. We start with having our fingers spread, put them like this on our head and we're doing circular motions towards our forehead. I know I look a bit like a scary from scary movie but this is the way it is. Our first finger should be touching the very top of our head and the rest of the fingers just spread evenly next to the part. Uh, we are 
doing this motion nine times. Once we're done with this, we are placing our fingers in the same way. This time we will be doing the circular motions going all the way towards the ears. So we're doing three circles and we're ending on the sides here, just on top of our ears. Okay, now I'm putting the oil on my hands. I'm gonna be oiling my face. We're gonna start this massage with our fingers, these two fingers, placing them on the bottom of our lip, and we're moving them along with smile wrinkles all the way here. We are repeating it nine times. Now we are placing these two fingers right there and we're applying the pressure doing a tiny tiny circular motions i'm just moving this pressure along my nose in three points you will be very well able to feel the muscles that we are working on right here Now we're placing our, our hand like this, but we're gonna be using this finger on the side of our nose and we're moving our fingers towards the eye. We're repeating the same motion on the other side. We repeat on both sides nine times. Now we are taking our finger, bend it like this, press it so this line of our finger touches the line under our eye and it's almost parallel to the eye. Yeah? And now we're gonna be moving our finger towards our temple. We repeat the motion nine times on each side, almost like we were trying to scoop something upwards. We repeat the same on the other side. Now we're gonna repeat the similar motion, but just lower on our face. And instead of a straight line downwards, we're gonna be doing the curved line. We repeat the motion nine times. And we're doing the same on the other side. Finally, our last movement, we are taking the palm of our hand, put it so the middle finger is in the middle of our nose, and we are going to do a curved line towards our temple with pressure of all the three fingers. We repeat it nine times on each side. And we repeat it on the other side. You're done! Just repeat this massage twice a day in the morning and in the evening and you should see the results within a few weeks. Are you still with me? Good. Just wanted to say that the massages that you just seen are based on my own experience and my own research as well as inspiration taken from this book. It's a Korean book by Wee Soo Young. Its title is something like Bones Therapy Plastic Surgery in Your Hand. So uh, a credit to this lady as well because this book is really really good. I hope you found it helpful and uh, enjoyed the results. Let me know how is it going. And see you later. Bye!